Alright, what's up everybody? Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do color correction to get a film look. So, you're going to need Adobe After Effects. And what we do first is go to Import, File. And we're going to get our video that we want to use. For this, ex this example, I'm going to be using a friend of mine and her daughter so what you can do is either drag the video right here or you can also drag it down to the timeline either way is the same thing so here we got this raw footage the first thing we want to do is go to layers new solid want to get a black make comp size okay want to go to your ellipse tool and you double click so you don't want it covering your shot you want it on the edges so what you want to do is either invert it or you can subtract after you subtract it you want to go down to your mask options you want to feather around let's say 300 you want it to be very very minimal not very noticeable and then let's say you want to do maybe 50 40 no. No, let's do even 60 actually you want to play around with it, so I mean, I'm sorry. You can try different things. We might even change it later. So for right now, it looks pretty good. And what you want to do next is go to layer again, get a new solid, make comp size again. But this time, we're going to get the rectangle tool and. You want to click here and hit proportional grid and what we want to do is with the rectangle selected you want to make a line to start at the, at the top line and end at the bottom line right here try to make it as close as possible when that's done what you want to do is same thing we did with the other one you want to subtract and that would give us the cinema widescreen look. Go back here, take it off, and this is what we got so far. Okay, it's looking better already. What we want to do is do the color, color correction now. We got a new adjustment layer. What well, that does, the adjustment layer, pretty much anything you do to this any effects you add to this it will add to everything under it so that's what we want we want to add it to the girl or not necessarily to these things but definitely to the girl but it won't really affect the other stuff but if it were or if you didn't want it there you could just put this on top and have these on top and these will not be affected so what we're going to go first is effect color corrections we want to go to hue and saturation so if you notice on films films are not very bright in fact they have maybe even less color than what you will see on you know reality shows or or TV shows so depending on your film on your lighting you want to take out some saturation make it less bright in a way I guess and see for this type of film I think 30 looks about good looks pretty good maybe even 25 maybe 30 is too much for this film but that depends on the film so you try it differently because even I've had some films depending on the lighting um, I bring it all the way down to negative 50 
and that was good for that film. So, but for this one, I think negative 25 is good. Okay, now I want to go back to hit adjustment, go to color corrections and curves. Okay, now we want to do is darken the image, contrast, make make it look wet. Okay, now that looks good, but we still need a little more. And depending on what you want again, but for this tutorial, I will give you what I feel is the most film look. So what I do is take away some red and you'll see the greens and the blues pop out a little more right there see compare and then okay that's good go to the green channel and I bring that up that's too much something minimal it's got to be minimal you don't want to exaggerate because then your film looks bad so we bring it up a little bit, just a notch where you see the green highlights. Now with the blue is where you can play with it. There's films that do have the blue and you bring it up and it gives you that blue look. It's cool, but I personally like to bring it down and it gives you that to what, what to me would be the film look. So to me that looks like a film look, maybe it's a little too much green, bring this down just a tad, and you want to play around with your settings, and just like I said at the beginning we might have had to change the ellipse tool, and we press MM which brings our mask options and I do want to make it less black on the side so I want to bring up the expansion and you play with it see uh, you can see how it's moving and I like it where it's very minimal just a tad so 130 maybe 120 seems to be right and that's it here we go we got the film look so that looks lo a lot more like a film here we go nice and rendered and I'll show you a comparison right now let's okay original and with all the effects well I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope it was useful for you guys um, if you have any questions please write to me if you liked the video and it was helpful for you please subscribe and uh, that's it uh, happy new year